What's up everybody? It's a VGV. You all know me and today I'm back with another video. So today I am 31 and a half weeks pregnant. I am planning for a home birth and I wanted to walk you all through like my master bedroom and how I plan to give birth in this master bedroom and I wanted to kind of walk you all through my space and everything. So I am going to walk you all through the space and give you all a tour of um, how I plan to give birth in here. I'm super excited. I'm still like still have other items to add and other like wishes that I have for this room but I wanted to go ahead and just in case I run out of time um, give you all at least an update of what I have so far. So if y'all are interested stay tuned. Okay, so walking into my master, I have our bed, of course. So that's there. We have my husband's nightstand over here. Um, I made that artwork up there. Um, and I plan to add baby girl somewhere, maybe above or below once I get that picture or maybe like a family picture of all of us. So she will be added to the artwork pieces that I have throughout the house. But yeah, so this is realistically how I make our bed um, when I do make it. <laughs> and so then I have this hanging hammock. When I did my first Nest With Me video, I attempted to put it or hang it up myself and it ended up falling, but my husband has put it on a nice stud so she won't be falling we tested it out I have a four-year-old and a six-year-old so it's good to go and this is on my side of the bed so I plan to you know rock her or whatever and have her right beside me in the middle of the night when she starts crying I plan to just rock that and hopefully she'll go back to sleep we shall see I also have a little outfit up there for her I just have that just to get me excited and everything just to you know have for display but I don't plan on like putting her in that like right away or anything um, maybe for like some newborn pictures or whatever so I have that this little cute little outfit right there and then I have her snuggle me in here I still need to get a cover for that I just have some of these I'll probably put these in my hospital bag these are some spa gel socks that's my hospital bag just in case I'll probably just wear my slippers when I'm you know at the house or whatever if all goes well and my birth goes well um, and then right here I have her bedside nursery and if you haven't seen that like a tour of everything in here I will link that down below but yeah this is pretty much um, everything I plan to have in that I have a couple of containers coming to like go off to the side where I can probably like put water up my water bottle and maybe like a few snacks and things like that for like when I'm nursing um, bedside so I plan to add that once those containers come they're supposed to be coming soon but for the most part that's how I have her bedside nursery and I'm pretty happy with the setup. And then I think in the last video, I hadn't completed this tree, but um, if y'all are interested in how I like make my trees around the house, comment below and let me know. But um, instead of like a mobile, it is almost Christmas time, so they have a lot of like ornaments and stuff. And these are like macrame ornaments, so I figured she could like look at the leaves while she's in here. She can look at, you know, the little macrame rainbows and items. So I have that there. I also have these um, blackout curtains here um, and they work really well at keeping the light out. So I will try to leave as much of the items that I have in my room down below, but the tree will not be in there because I made that myself. Then I have this artwork piece that I made and then I have uh, birthing affirmations on there. I also want to add like some twinkle lights to kind of come down and light light this up because um, I do want it to be kind of dark and um, like a zen spa experience in here. So um, yeah, but I have these 
to keep me encouraged throughout. Yep. So these are just some of them. I also have some over our tub. So I love that. I love these Christian birth affirmations to keep me encouraged while in labor. Also down here, my midwives requested for me to have um, towels on hand. So I think I have like 11 or 12 black towels down here, folded, washed and folded. Then I have a couple of washcloths for them and hand towels. So um, I'm gonna just have that here. Also have um, two like fold up Walmart tables down below so if they need to like like I don't know how much stuff they plan on bringing I have a lot of stuff here already on hand so we'll get that all figured out but if I need to like put up another table because we don't have a dresser in our room I will probably pick that so yeah I'm not really sure but yeah I have some towels down not towels <laughs> sorry I have tables down below underneath our bed if the midwives need to like set up and they have like a lot of stuff that they need to set up not really sure never did a home birth before but if they need to set up I'm gonna have um, some tables that they can you know pull out pull out and pop up and put their stuff but for now I have my birth kit and I have the towel set up right here let's see then I have my yoni stool there and then I have another tree that I made here with some other little like ornaments very merry because she's gonna be close to Christmas fa la 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 Noel um so I have that and then I have just some lights this is my yoni herbs that I plan to put on my yoni or steam my yoni before I give birth and after to you know help with labor and also to heal my womb after so I just have that those tea mixtures um, up here for now I plan to paint this black this um, oh man what do you call it I'm I can't can't remember what you call it oh my goodness I don't know why I am drawing a brain fart right now but yeah so my husband made that for me um, and so I plan to paint that black so that it's more of a contrast with the wood uh, but yeah so I think I've walked you all through everything kind of on this side on my side of the room so here I have like nursing chill station but I got a rocker for me and dad or whoever else wants to sit with me or whatever um, so this is gonna be like my nursing station pretty much or not nursing station pumping station but yeah so I have this wireless diffuser that I love it's a Vitruvi diffuser I will link it down below I have a LED candle and my Hakka right there and then I have here baby blues rebalance after ease and let there be milk um, tinctures and then these are two um, nursing bombs I'm not sure why it's not focusing for you all but yeah so I have a, an honest calm nibble bomb and then a earth mama bomb not really sure which one I'm gonna like but I got two from like family and stuff so I have that and then I have um, essential oils over here and then in this little container here I have these like rice filled items that I can warm up in the microwave if my ducks get clogged which they did with my previous babies when uh, nursing and everything so um, that may happen again so I just wanted to be prepared and have some items to kind of soothe my my tits uh, for when that if that happens when that happens I also have a hatch baby right here um, and I haven't programmed it yet but I plan to program that for 
um, to kind of create a schedule for wake up times and sleep times with white noise and like something else maybe a little soothing for waking up as well and then in this drawer here I have snacks again for when I'm nursing or pumping and I get hungry and then I also have two receiving blankets to kind of clean up any milk mess um, so that's kind of what I have so far and it's just nuts some nut bars some fig Newton bars and mixed berry bars and I am plant-based vegan whatever you want to call it and so um, those are all plant-based friendly and everything then down here I'm not gonna be able to get my pump until 10 days after but I do have another pump um, that's just my this was just my midwife list of items that they wanted me to have but down here I also have um, coconut water and my milk storage bags I went with the Nana baby ones so I have those down there for now and I plan to also have my pump somewhere in this situation so um, I think I'm gonna keep it down there I'm not really sure how, what I'm gonna do um, pump wise like where I'm gonna keep it I think I might keep it in this basket or I might add like a little you know those I don't even know like storage things that you can add to couches I might have something like that and keep the pump items in there but for now this is my nursing slash breastfeeding slash pumping station and this is what I have so far and I plan to of course maybe add some more items but I'm just trying to get as much done as possible because babies can come early and everything so I just want to you know have as much done as I can and then over here I just have a blanket ladder thing and then here I have uh, our birthing kit and I have a video all of in detail of like everything in this kit for my midwives but I have it over here for right now and so that's that let me just kind of show you all again so this is my room so this is my master bathroom and we got his and her sinks and everything um, it's well lived in so you know it is what it is but I wanted to walk you all through it I wanted it to be perfect but you know let's just go ahead and get this video up and I will give you all any edits or modifications I'll update y'all on that if I have time but for now this is the bathtub I plan to give birth in I've been like pampering myself in it and everything so I'm just probably gonna be used to this this is what I prefer I've seen a lot of people like run out of time not being able to blow up the pool the pool is provided in like my midriffery kit <laughs> um, or whatever but um, I just feel more comfortable giving birth in my own bathtub I, I think in my mind I've never done this before but um so since it's already here and everything i can go ahead and like labor then i have over here i have some bath salts i have um this brown sugar scrub that i made i have some kegel exercise balls that i need to start doing to prepare for birth have just some other bar soaps there that smell really good aromatherapy ones some bath bombs two different types there this little sculpture thing that's so cute and I think it'll encourage me um, and my sister-in-law got me that so that's really cute like baby resting in God's hands then I have this thing here it's called a water slide that is a stimulator for down there but yeah so this is it here and you just like hook it to your water and it provides like a nice nice sensation down there and it's a water slide and so I got that as well to help maybe with the 
orgasmic birth experience if you all haven't seen like an orgasmic birth that's kind of what i'm trying to go for like a supernatural orgasmic birth so i think that water slide will help with that and then over here i have a dry brush i love dry brushing it makes me feel good um and then i have a um face roller and face mask and some like hair treatment up there like just things to like that i can do to like keep me occupied and i have a little candle and some oil so just different things to like keep me occupied um while in the bath maybe laboring and i can kind of pamper myself through it all that's that and then i have my bathroom of course my toilet um and i plan to hang my plan to hang my like postpartum stuff on the door there well i did plan to do that but now that i'm thinking about it i probably won't i already have like my postpartum kit kind of set up and i will show y'all that but i also have on um, my shower here and i may do that but i, I think i'm gonna opt for the bath and then this is our closet and so in the closet i have a um pressure cooker and so i have some towels already rolled and folded and washed with some essential oils um for like warm sensations and then in my birth kit i also have like a cooling one but i went through that in my birth kit so if you want to check out that video um the link is down below i have um this kettle here for like tea and i have some little spoons still need to add some cups in here but i have some snacks and things for like the midwife um and my husband or whoever during the birth I have that kind of set up and everything um some coconut water to stay hydrated for the team for me for whoever and then i have this cute little book 10 reasons why my husband loves me i love this book so i may have him like read that to me and we might you know have a little moment or whatever um all of like the romantic stuff how you made baby it will help with how baby comes out so um we have that there and then i have um some nuts and stuff here and i have all of the teas and some four sigmatic uh cocoa mix cacao mix is so good but yeah i have smooth move for like probably after birth to help with that first bowel movement mother's milk tea detox tea vanilla chai three ginger so i have some teas here in my closet and this is like literally uh, <laughs> like right in my closet just a nice little place where the midwives can kind of refuel and stuff this space is kind of for them and for me postpartum i can kind of come in here and relax too i have a chair over here um that you can sit in and i plan to add a light and i want to add some plants i just have that there from michael's and then yeah this is my postpartum kit my rolling cart and i think i am gonna have to do the rolling cart actually i was wanting to maybe hang my postpartum kit on the wall but thinking about it i think it's gonna be better to have it rolling i will keep y'all updated on this postpartum thing because it's still a work in progress but i'll give you a update just in case just in case so this is not supposed to be here this is like a massage roller that you can freeze and it helps with your skin and tightening and stuff uh but yeah so i plan to make pad sickles so these are the pads i'm gonna use um and then these organic cotton rounds i'm gonna lay those on there too and like a sub or whatever and so i'd rather the organic cotton rounds touch my hoo-ha versus what's on these so but these are gonna catch the blood and everything so that's kind of that and then i also have a uh, witch hazel little toners that i'm gonna put on there i have 
some lavender, some aloe vera toner. Um, I have this perineal herbal spray that I'm going to have in there. But all of these, in the, and then I have some more witch hazel. And so all of this is what I'm going to use to make my pad sickles or whatever. I may get some like actual like gel gel, aloe vera gel, just because I don't have that. All of these are like watery consistency. I don't know if that the jelly will make it feel better or whatever. So I have that and then just these witch hazels. So I still have to make my pad sickles. And then I'm also going to add some of the witch hazel and make my tux pads here so that's what I have in these little containers I just have these cotton rounds stuff shoved in there and then I'm gonna fill it up with um, witch hazel and then I can just add these to my pads as well keep those in the refrigerator then I have a lot a lot of peri bottles I'm gonna keep like some like full of water already then I can just squeeze it on there and then that way I don't have to like run to the sink the sink is like kind of far away not that far but so I have a couple of peri bottles I may even like add some of the yoni womb healing um, stuff in some of them and have like them with tea in them instead of water and then I have this one too from the freedom moms and then I have some organic pads down here and then I have some of those hospital mesh undies so those are really I really enjoyed those with my boys so I have some of those in there and then I have some of these freedom moms frozen pads and or like you shake them up and I think they just become cold um, and that came in like the freedom mom kit then some other like freedom mom undies they don't feel as soft, so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna like those. They came in a kit, and it comes with some foam and some perineal like tux pad things as well. So I'm just gonna be, be like trial and error on it and seeing which combination of this stuff I prefer the best, but I like that I have it all on hand. Then I got these from like the dollar store. These frozen, or these jelly things that you can freeze. And I seen that they have like these reusable um, pads and so I figured I could like put like a sock on this or something a sock over it or I don't know and and freeze these and like put a sock over it and then put it down there and that may feel good and they're like only like a dollar so these are really nice and could work really well on the perineum as well and as y'all know it is very important to me y'all see i got all of this in preparation for that because that's the part that's rough 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 that afterbirth stuff so just one of my lady parts to heal up really nicely um after birth um and then of course i have my depends down there and i plan to wear depends for like the first week or so first couple of days just because it's easier and then even if I like have to put like a pad in there or put in one of these like cooling pads like I think the depends will be really nice to have just in case um, there's leakage and everything and that's happened to me before so I think the depends will be really nice not cute not sexy or anything but you know it is what it is and it's just a healing time so that's that so this is my little corner over here I just have this tucked over here for now but I'm probably gonna roll it into like the toilet area or get something that I can like hang in the, that bathroom and have my stuff in there so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do that yet but this is like work in progress and I just wanted to show you what I have so far but yes yeah, so I have this sitting area and yeah, it's just my closet here. Getting up. But yeah, so I'll probably, yeah, I may hang something on this wall here. Like my toilet's over here and I may hang my situation here. Maybe, not really sure. Um, so we'll see, I'll keep y'all updated on that. But yeah, 
I also have on my door, my back door here, I have this little like spa lounging thing that goes in the bathtub as well. So that's nice and with a pillow and I could just relax and listen to spa music, relaxing music. And then I also have this little thing here that goes on the bathtub as well where I can put my phone and a candle and my um, wireless diffuser if I want or whatever. So I have that back there as well. But yeah, so this is pretty much my birthing set up so far how I have everything kind of planned out I still got work to be done but I wanted to give you all an update on what I have so far all right so I hope you enjoyed my birthing sanctuary tour I guess of how I plan to give birth and how I plan to kind of live in the space for the first uh, week or so when healing um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it brought you some inspiration. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye. -bye.